can't speak for him, but just looking from the outside, do you think he fancies it again? He'll have a lot of um, demons playing on his mind. So, you know, who knows? People will talk him into it. I don't know. But um, I know from my side, I'm ready to go out there and just show the world that I am the king. Demons playing on his mind. <laughs> um, Daniel Dubois has just made it back from Brazil. And you see him smiling ear to ear. Ain't that a smile, isn't it? Look at that. But I think, you know, him saying, thinking that AJ has a lot of demons playing on his mind. Um... That may be the case, but the important thing is he's believing that, you know what I mean? He's thinking that, you know what, AJ is, how, you know, he got a lot of demons playing around in his mind and a lot of pressure as well. And like I've been telling you guys for the last two or three weeks, <clears throat> the last week, I know that AJ fighting Danny Dubois again may not be what AJ wants, but I don't even know if it's up to what AJ wants. I think it's up to who benefits from AJ going back in there and fighting Dubois again. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of times you become a tool, especially when you're a uh, powerhouse marketing uh, <clears throat> brand like Anthony Joshua. He's a brand. So anytime when you have that type of uh, demand, you have that type of responsibility along with pressure. That's what Danny Dubois meant, and you you know you don't have to have a um, you don't have to be a, a brain scientist uh, to know that hey you know AJ may not want this fight because again like I told you guys we haven't really seen or heard anything from AJ that conveyed that hey I want this rematch and I'm coming for you you know we've heard Eddie Hearn say hey this is what AJ told me you know what I mean. But I'm like, AJ can speak and talk for himself, you, you, you would think. You would think he could do that, and you think um, he will do that. But I think that the pressure may be piling on him. Um, now, is that a kind of low-key diss from Danny Dubois? You bet it is. You know what I mean? He's just not rubbing it in, but he's definitely saying, yeah, a lot of, you know, a lot of demons going to be running through his mind after I whooped him like that. And I bet you they trying to push him up to it because he may not want the fight. That's what Daniel's saying. He's just not being a dick or charismatic and saying it like Jarrell Miller or someone like Philip Hergovic or Tyson Fury. Those guys that are known for verbally destroying you. Nah, he ain't doing that because he's not that type of, you know, um, guy. You know what I mean? He doesn't have that type of gift. His gifts are with these. You know what I mean? Not with this. Okay. But what he does say, you know, I'm going to beat you like I'm your daddy. You know, that type of thing. You know, sometimes he has his moments in time and he makes them shine. Bars. So I think that Danny Dubois is really kind of uh, seeing what AJ does. That's a taunt to me, you know. Because how do you know what's going on in that man's mind? All you know is what you did to that man. So... You know what I mean? I, I do think Daniel is uh, sticking it in and twisting it in a bit. You know what I mean? Before he breaks it off. But you guys tell me what you think of Daniel Dubois stating that Anthony Joshua may have a lot of demons playing in his mind after the defeat, after the beating. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.